This is for the Battle of L.A. A.D. and LeBron versus Kawhi and Paul George. Who's gonna come out on top this year? I want you to sit back and enjoy the video. Let's get into the content. So as you know, going into this season, we have a real live rivalry in LA. Before it just used to be the, you know, the LA Lakers, they used to be the more dominant team. They still are the most dominant team. They have all, they have 16 championships. The Clippers have none, and that's been the case. The Clippers have always been known to be the small brothers, the little brothers in LA. They were just sharing the Staples Center with the, the, uh, with the Lakers, and they were just there, you know, nobody really pay attention to them. All of the stars would always go to the Lakers games. No one would really go to the Clippers game. But all of that changed when Steve Ballmer took over the team and he's the, he has the deepest pockets in all of sports. He's the richest owner of all of sports, worth over $35 billion. And he changed all of that, with, you know, with keeping Doc Rivers, acquiring Jerry West as, to be, uh, you know, a consultant to the team. And since then, things have changed. Last year, just last year in the playoffs, the LA Clippers actually took the Golden State Warriors to six games without a star. That's without a star, just with a lot of tough, gritty dudes like Patrick uh, Patrick uh, Beverly and other players and Lou Williams, and they were able to take the Golden State Warriors six games. So what has changed since then? Well, the Lakers also didn't, the Lakers didn't make the playoffs last year. They got LeBron, they kept Kuzma, but what changed was they added AD. And with the addition of AD, a lot of people are saying that the, you know, that LeBron and, and AD are the best duo in all of NBA. And we were thinking that, you know, LA was looking like, the, the, the Lakers were looking like they were going to be the championship favorites until Kawhi Leonard decided to join the Clippers with Paul George. And that completely just created a new balance in LA. Now we don't know who's the number one team in, in, in LA. Before, it used to be a foregone conclusion. Everybody would say it's the Lakers. Just, just a few days ago, I saw Ice Cube on ESPN, and he was saying it's still the Lakers, and he haven't even bounced the ball yet. We don't know how the Lakers are going to be with that new duo, and how the Clippers are going to be with this, you know, with the duo that they're adding to their team. But nevertheless, people are already saying, hey man, you know, this one is going to be a toss-up. Some people are just native, you know, Laker fans, and they're always going to be Laker fans, and they're always going to say it's the Lakers. Whereas others are like, hey man, this thing is up in the air, and that's what's going to be so interesting this season. Who's going to be the king of the Staples Center? I mean, it sounds crazy to even be asking such a question but that's what it is that's the question today that we're being posed with before you know the Lakers had all the stars they had Kobe they had Shaq they had Magic they had Kareem they had Worthy they had all these guys and the Clippers had no one that you can really point to to say ah this is a Pantheon great you know uh, a player that came from the Clippers they don't have any such players before but now they do now they have a finals MVP now they have an MVP uh, f finalist that made it um an MVP finalist. They have the best two-way players in the in, in the league and all of the you know in the league. And and now the Clippers have a really really good team. So now the question is, who's going to come out on top? Well, first let me just quickly say, I think the Lakers are going to be really really good on offense because they have a lot of offensive power. You have LeBron James, you have AD, you have Kuzma. They just recently acquired Iguodala. So they have really good pieces in place. They also have some good defenders in Rajon Rondo and Anthony Davis and others. Now, LeBron James was accused last season of not playing much defense. That could have been because of age. That could have been because of the record of the team. He didn't want to overexert himself. Whatever the case is, that's the case with the Lakers. Whereas on the other side, you know, right next door in the corridor, you have the Clippers. And they just have a bunch of animals on defense, starting off with the best point guard defender in all of basketball in Patrick Beverly. Then you go to the two spot. Then you have Paul George, who's one of the finalist for you know uh you know the defensive player of the year and then right next to him you have Kawhi Leonard who is the best defender at least wing defender in all of basketball you know not forgetting my man uh, Rudy Colbert who was actually the defensive player of the, of the of the year but nevertheless the Clippers have a bunch of dogs on defense and it you know so it's going to be really interesting I think the Lakers are going to be really glamorous they're going to get up put up a lot of points whereas I think the Clippers are going to be really disciplined I think they're going to be a really solid defensive team also under the tutelage of Doc Rivers not to mention Doc Rivers' role to play in all of this because as the coach of the Clippers you know he has a history of winning championship he has a championship pedigree he's been to the finals before and he's considered to be probably the second best coach in all of basketball right behind Greg Popovich so you know the Clippers also have that edge and they also have great they have a great management team in, in, in place and Jerry West you know and 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 Lars Frank and all of these guys and a, you know an owner that's willing to spend whatever it takes to win so you don't even know what other uh, you know um, acquisitions they be they may be be able to make throughout the season 
in case they notice that their team is not performing to the level that they can. Whereas right across from them, you have the Los Angeles Lakers, who, who, whose leadership has been quite, you know, questionable. Is it Jeannie Buss? Is it Robert Palenka? Is it, you know, who is it? Is it Kurt Rambis? Is it his wife? We don't really know. Is it Magic Johnson? Is Magic Johnson doing this X, Y, and Z? So it is yet to be seen what's really going to happen. I think it's going to be a toss up. I think it's going to be fireworks throughout the entire season. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think basketball fans are going to be in for a treat. I don't really know who's going to come out on top. I think it's going to be the Clippers, but who knows? And just imagine that these teams are going to meet each other four times in a season, four times. So just imagine what the Lakers crowd, the audience is going to, the crowd is going to look like. You're going to have Clipper fans, you're going to have Laker fans, all in the same arena, and it's, they're going to be battling to see who is the king of LA, what team is going to actually come out on top. So I think it's going to be amazing. We're going to be in for a great, you know, a uh, great show this year. So if you're, you know, if you're a basketball fan, if you have some predictions in your mind, who do you think is going to be the number one team in LA this year? Who do you think, do you think that your champion is going to come from this, you know, from one of these teams? Maybe they may, maybe they might, maybe they, they might not. So I want to know what you think. This is just my take. I think it's going to be amazing. So I just want to know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're a Lakers fan, hit the like button. If you're a Clippers fan, hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Wishing you guys a great day. Peace.